Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are diving deep into something that can really level up your Tableau game. That is Tableau APIs, the power of programmatic interaction. Tableau is an amazing visualization tool, but did you know that you can also control it programmatically? That's where API come into picture and it will open up a world of possibilities for you. So let's understand first by talking about what are APIs and why should you care? So what exactly is an API? Think of it as a way of different computer programs to talk to each other. In Tableau's case, it lets us write code to interact with Tableau instead of just using the regular interface. So Tableau APIs are programming interface that let the users or developers to interact with it programmatically. So for example, if we use REST API, we can type in the code to trigger the data refresh extracts, or we can also manage the component by changing or downloading the workbooks or image of the dashboard and so on. So why is this important? Well, it means we can automate tasks, build custom solutions, and integrate Tableau with other tools as we use. Isn't it cool? Now let's look at the Tableau API ecosystem. Well, Tableau provide a whole ecosystem of API, each designed for different purpose. It might seem a lot, but don't worry, we will break it down. So the first one is management APIs. So that's the API which help us to manage the resources, administer the resources, and the content management of all the content available on Tableau server or cloud. So programmatically, you can manage that content, either it's permissions, managing the permissions, downloading the extracts or workbooks or flows, or automatically triggering the flows once your data is updated in the backend data sources. So that will help you to automate your processes so you don't have to worry about it anymore. So the second one is integration APIs. So have you ever thought like if you want to integrate or embed your data visualization into a web portal or a website, how can you do that? Well, that's where integration API comes into picture, where you can embed your visualization into external application or even your company portal. And not only the visualization, but it will also help you to embed your Tableau Pulse metrics. And also you can programmatically create the filter options within the embedded platform and you can customize the design which is in line with your company's brand standards. Then the next one is extension API. This is quite an interesting one where you can create custom functionalities within the dashboards or worksheets or also you can create a web applications using extension API which can interact with your dashboards. So that's really powerful if you want to dive deeper into creating your own functionalities within your dashboards. And then the next one is data access API. And this is again, another powerful API, which helps you to interact with the Tableau metadata and the data which is sitting behind Tableau, like all your published data sources or embedded data sources. If you want to programmatically make changes to the metadata of those components that you can do it using data access APIs. So in this series, I'll be covering all these in detail. So in today's tutorial, I will quickly give you the overview of all these APIs, starting from REST API. So REST API is the management powerhouse. It helps us to manage the Tableau components, including all the user groups, sites, projects, workbooks, flows, etc., and interact with it programmatically. So you can first set up the authentication using program by using tokens or username passwords. Then you can also provision users and also make sure you can programmatically update the permissions for the users for different components. And once you have done that, you can also do a lot of other features or other actions like publishing a content, updating a content, or managing the workbook permissions, or triggering the extract for the data sources once the data is refreshed, 
and we have received it from the source system. All that can be done using REST API. And not only that, we can also schedule these refresh, extract refresh and also subscriptions as required. And the next one is embedding API, which as I mentioned earlier, if you want to embed your workbooks or pulse metrics into your web portal within the company, you can use embedding API for that. You can embed and change your custom themes and add filters. So it will feel like that the dashboard is part of that website rather than having the Tableau interface for the users to interact with it. And the next one is extension API. So there are two components to it. So first of all, how you can create different web-based application using extension. And the second one is how you can utilize the Wiz extension to create custom charts. So think of it as like, if you have a particular scenario, particular functionality where you want the users to add comments to the rules in the dashboard, Currently that functionality is not available, but you can create your own web application and that can interact with your dashboard. So for example, you created a web application in an HTML form and you can actually click on the rows on the dashboard, which pass the parameters to the HTML form, which can then, when submitted, write the data back into the database. So that's where write back capabilities come into picture and all that can be developed using extension API. So it is quite powerful and it gives you a lot of control to create different web applications that can interact with your visual components within the dashboards. What else we can do with extension API? Well, we can create custom charts using Wiz extensions. And you might have seen recently Tabra have released Sanke chart and table extension, which is part of Wiz extension. And you can create multiple chart types using Wiz extensions. And also there are other common use cases of this where people are using these extension APIs for their CRM integration and interactive input forms, as I mentioned, where they can add comments to the rule level data within Tableau dashboard. So that's, that's quite powerful and these extensions can be used for those purposes as well. Now the next one is Metadata API. So as the name suggests, this API is used to access metadata programmatically within Tableau. So where you can discover the assets, content and external data sources within Tableau. And it also helps you to track lineage and map relationship between different content items. For example, one particular data source is linked to which all workbooks and which all dashboards and what all fields are within those data sources. So you can actually track the lineage using Metadata API. So this is really useful when you are trying to make some changes in the backend data source and some of the fields might be getting deleted. So you can actually use this to analyze your risk assessment that which all dashboard it might impact. So if you don't have data management add-on, which gives you the lineage access within Tableau Data Cloud, in that case, you can actually use this metadata API to create your own data lineage, which is quite powerful. And for that, you can use GraphQL queries. Basically, it provides you the flexibility and efficient querying of metadata within your Tableau environment. And you can actually understand the dependency of the content within the cloud or Tableau server and its dependency on the other assets or content. So that's how Metadata API can help you in day-to-day -day processes. And the next one is WizQL Data Service. So this data service was recently released in Tableau 2025.1, where you can actually extract the data directly from Tableau published data source programmatically. So if you have done a lot of data transformation in the backend or even within the Tableau data model, and when you want users to access that data, it is really hard because you have already created that data model relationship within Tableau, but you want that flat view to be given to the business users, then you can actually access this data programmatically using WizQL data service. And that data same can be embedded on different websites where you want. So it's quite a powerful feature 
where you can programmatically access the data within the published data sources. You must be wondering in all these APIs, how we can choose which one to use when. So that's really simple as I have listed down here. You can use REST API for basically administering the server needs or cloud needs. So where you want to automate the task for the content, either it's for extracting the data source, managing permissions, updating or removing or adding different components within the cloud and server environment, use REST API. Embedding API is used when you want to embed the visualization within the website. An extension API is used when you want to create customized feature within the dashboard or template environment. And then metadata API, which is GraphQL, it is really useful when you want to access the metadata of Tableau Cloud or server. And it is quite useful how this will help you to understand the lineage and relationship between different components within Tableau. And last but not least, WizQL Data Service API, it will help you to access the data sitting in the visualization through published data source and can be easily extracted using WizQL Data Service. So this is the high level overview of Tableau APIs. And we'll be discussing each one of these in more detail as a part of the series. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message in the section below. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.